I see the angels hanging over the balcony. Hello, it's my doorbell. Uh, my name is Warren, and uh, this is my guitar, Julian. A um, beautiful guitar. Uh, hello from both of us to you, and welcome to the tutorial um, to Super Collider. Or, uh, if it is one word, Super Collider. Super Collider. You can uh, fill me in on that, whoever knows. But um, <laughs> if you guys have been following Radiohead for a while, you know that this song is semi-new. There's kind of like a piano version Tom did on tour a couple years ago, and um, a band version that came out recently on Record Store Day, uh, everywhere in the world except for U.S. and Canada, um, which sucks. <laughs> but uh, I heard it anyway, and I love, love the kind of dancey feel. Uh, it's like... Okay, I'm going to stop. But... Um, it has the dance version has this great ending to it and it really plays up this ending that Tom only touches on in the piano versions I've seen. And the piano version has this cool melodic part that kind of runs through the intro and the verse that uh, are gone from the uh, band versions. So what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd kind of make them have an awkward meeting and then come to me and have a, a romantic love child. And the cover, the cover that I did is Our Illegitimate Child. And uh, if you like it, this is going to be how I play it, okay? So um, <clears throat> I told you guys in the previous video, if you've been checking out my stuff, um, that I wanted to get more into some music theory. And we're going to look specifically at that chord progression at the end first, before we get back into the beginning of the song. And I, I, uh, if I haven't said it already, the ending in the dancey version... <clears throat> is super Radiohead. And what I mean by that is it's like really, really, it's got that Radiohead flair to it. It's got that Radiohead style to it. And the music theory explanation behind that is it's pretty cool. Now, when you look at the song, it's in the key of C, okay? We're in the key of C. Da -da 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 -da. The only thing is there's a C mixolydian type of thing. You can look it up if you don't know what it is, but... You know, if you do know what it is, you can appreciate that kind of <clears throat> tonality that Radiohead's using there. But by the very end, there's this really interesting chord progression. It goes flat six to the flat seven, which is super, super common in Radiohead songs. And then they go to a four, and then to the one. It kind of ended, okay? So that's like a really cool Radiohead progression. Why do I say that? Well, because flat 6 to flat 7 is not in the key of C. The flat 7 kind of is, if you look at C mixolydian, but not this particular voicing of it. And what I mean by that is just saying there's a link between this song and Airbag. I don't know if Airbag, for instance, like... remember that was the uh, the flat six to the flat seven to the one I have a tutorial on that and I mentioned that very same thing and so you hear this flat six to the flat seven with that with that kind of one hidden in each of those chords and for those of you who are into music theory you'll definitely get a kick out of that but if for those of you who aren't hang in there I promise I will I will teach this song uh, by the end so anyway so that chord shape right there four six x uh, five four X is actually very similar to the True Love Waits. Oh, another song in the key of C that uses a flat six. Oh snap! Radiohead's repeating themselves. No, I'm just kidding. They're super innovative. So flat six <coughs> to the flat seven. That's an interesting shape here. This is six X X five four to six X X five three. 
both times the first string is out. And then the F, any way you can manage, but I use 1, 3, X, 2, 1, X, and then to the C, sus4. So X, 3, 3, 0, 1, X, and then to the basic C, X, 3, 2, 0, 1. Okay, so that's your ending right there. Working a little bit backwards here, but just to show you the kind of music theory thing that, that's going on, Radiohead is has got a flavor. There's something to it. Can't apply this thing to every song, but of course, this one thing is like, yeah, that's vintage Radiohead. So a cool way to appreciate something that's going on. That's not necessarily obvious, right, from the uh, first kind of passive listen. Um, but anyway, enough with the boring stuff, <laughs> which I think is cool. But um, there's the rest of the song to, to learn as well, okay? So the beginning of the song, the little melodic part I was talking about, it kind of goes like this. Now, for those of you who are learning by ear, and you know the scale already, um, just listen up for a second. I'm going to play it real slow. Notice there's two notes there. that a bunch of times if you're just training your ear but okay so that's what Tom does on the piano version and I'll show you what that is now if you don't want to hear how I play it with the frets and everything skip this part of the video so X three three zero one okay so you're gonna go so the fifth and fourth third second and then C basic C Oh, sorry. And then what you're going to do is hit those fifth and fourth strings again. And you're going to follow it up directly with the C sus4 again. Okay? So the X33. Three, three. So basic C is, you know, X32010. So it's going to go C sus4 all the way up. And then C to C sus4. And then open third string. So again. And then. Got it? Okay, so um, the next half of it is... So again, it's fifth and second. And back down to the C sus4. And then C again with the fifth and fourth string. C sus4. Open third string. So that second half of it goes... Back down and then... The notes rise okay so now what are we, what am i talking about ear training for those of you who don't know what's up uh ear training is where you train your ear to hear what's happening in the music and what i'm hearing specifically what i want you to listen into is uh, going up then down back up high and then down and back up if you hear the melody doing this movement guess what you have the potential to train your ear to teach yourself how to play songs by ear and that's that's what i do i i pair that what i hear with words and concepts to describe it which is music theory okay and then um <clears throat> the next section don't want to forget this is one three x three one x so okay so first, a sixth string and third string, and second, back here, and then basic F, which is one, three, X, two, one. Okay, so that was a F sus four to the F, and then open, and then third fret of the fourth string. And so instead of going, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, the second one is, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, second open second on the third string so first half of it and then it goes down this time okay and then there's only three more basic chords in the the into the boxes okay so it's going to be x six eight eight uh six and that's a e flat two with no third back into okay and 
uh, it's gonna be five x five seven eight seven. This is really weird. It's like a D with a flat nine in it. Ooh, two part chord, and then it goes to D x five seven 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 x. So it goes uh, shadows. I put the shadows back into. So there are two ways you can do this. You could do it with one finger and then just add your pinky like this, one finger on three strings, and then add your pinky. Or you could just do with the pinky and all your fingers. It's really strange. It's obviously not meant to be played on acoustic unless you're, you got crazy hands like I do. Uh, you, you, everybody can play it if you try hard enough, okay? So uh, you just gotta want it. X3555. There's a bar C back to E flat to C. And there's this little link that, that I do just to sync up the, to, to link up the, the final chorus with the outro. And that's just C sus4 with my thumb. Back to C. Do that again. And then up to the E flat again that we are used to. I see the angels. Okay, and that's where we get back to the end. So that's that. Um, thank you for sticking with me. It's a long tutorial, but I, I guarantee I, I, you will you will really, really get a lot out of music theory and ear training if you want to go this route. Um, so I hope uh, some of you who were training your ears in the beginning uh, really found that rewarding just to kind of learn it by yourself. Um, and for those who are interested, you guys know that I give Skype lessons. You can just find me on Skype. It's Warren Lane, W-A-R-R-E-N-L-A-I-N. -E or you can email me for tutorials of individual songs. I have an affordable rate, uh, warren at warrenlane.com. So again, that's my first name at Warren Lane, which is my first name, last name, last name <laughs> dot com. It's late. I can't talk. And uh, just let me know uh, what you're interested in, in getting a tutorial for. And I will definitely um, respond to you and, and you know, um, see if we can figure something out. Um, <clears throat> hopefully there's no challenge too big. And um, I'm just, yeah, super, super uh, excited to be continuing to share more stuff with you. And um, for those who want to go more into music theory and ear training, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We're going to get deeper and deeper until there's no return. Okay? So, um, uh, good night, kitties. Or good morning, wherever you are. Okay? Take care. Super